Hello, my name is Roxana Moran, uh, Interventional Cardiologist at the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. And I am so thrilled today to come to you on this CCS Spotlight on the Next Generation. Here with me today as my featured guest is Dr. Alexandra Bastiani. She's an interventional cardiologist at, uh, in Edmonton at University of Alberta in Edmonton and has already, she's, a, she's in the fellowship program, I believe. And I'm going to let her kind of just tell us a little bit about herself, her background, and also um, why interventional cardiology? Hi, Dr. Moran. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, I, I, I am I am an interventional cardiologist. I just finished my fellowship in Edmonton uh, and started literally just started my practice in Tampa de Bay, Ontario, uh, last week. I uh, I grew up in Montreal um, and did all my residency, all my my medical studies there. And after my cardiology residency, I decided to fly to the other end of Canada and uh, do my fellowship in interventional cardiology there, which was great. It was a beautiful experience for two years I was there. Um, and to answer your question, why interventional cardiology? I always, I was always my goal was always to do cardiology. I entered medical internal medicine and I knew I was going to do cardiology and I needed to do something with my 10 fingers. I, for me, it was very important. And for me, interventional cardiology was just the answer. Uh, I felt like I could change some, I could, I could change something in the, in the, in the curses or the, how the patients were evolving. I also was very interested in, in um, prevention. So that allowed me, this specialty, this subspecialty allowed me to do all of that. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's no, it's fantastic. And you know, um, uh, you bring so much, I've looked over at your CV already so active, so early in your career. Um, a lot of your interest seems to be sort of around STEMI, um, am I right? Uh, so what about, what about that work? Tell me a little bit about what you're hoping to accomplish in the next years in both in your private practice, but also academically. So um, I, I did a lot of, of uh, research around, uh, around STEMI anticoagulation as well. That was during my residency. Um, however, during my, my fellowship, I uh, developed a, a certain interest for women's health. And um, so I started researching a little bit. I'm actually writing a paper, which is probably going to be a Canadian initiative right now on Inoka. So this, I kind of grew into this part of medicine. Um, so, um, which is really interesting because I think uh, it's an area where we need a lot more, a lot more research. Um, it's an, it's, uh, it's uh, underdiagnosed, underappreciated. And yet these women have really, really bad event rates, don't they? Absolutely. Yeah, and I know. Yes, and there's so much gender bias. Um, uh, just the way that women are treated when they get in the hospital, especially when, when, they, when they get um, uh, in the emergency with sometimes atypical symptoms, um, you can see there's a difference of, on how they're seen, how they're perceived, how their symptoms are perceived. And especially when they come to the cat lab and their coronaries are normal and now, you know, nobody understands nobody's trying to understand either um so i was feel like these women are getting ignored poorly treated yeah. what do you think yes exactly and you know the crazy lady syndrome she's having symptoms but her coronaries are normal so i really i'm really trying to work um to break those myths to break those barriers to um you know offer a better treatment to these women um as an interventional cardiologist um, I want to I want to uh, promote the fact that there is some certain things that we can do in the cath lab, certain tests that we can do, interventional testing, a workup uh, uh, that is possible to diagnose to put to put a diagnostic on these patients, and then from there offer a certain treatment. Um, so that is that is where I'm going. Um, so I love it. You're a woman. Uh, you're an uh, you're you're an underrepresented minority. And, uh, you know, uh, I also, as a woman from Iranian uh, background, I'm from Iran, I always felt like there was this sort of um, hands off. I mean, but, but for you, I want to know, um, how do you think, I mean, so much has changed, but yet so much hasn't, right, in, in medicine. 
Um, why do you think we have such underrepresentation of African American or Black women in medicine? And what can we do? What do you think we needs to be done to change this narrative? Because look at you, amazing talent, and uh, thank goodness you were you were um, attracted to interventional cardiology, but there's very few uh, uh, intervention uh, black women in interventional cardiology. So tell me about um, what you think are the issues, still lingering issues, what you went through and how we can make a change. That is a really good question. Thank you for, for, for asking me that. Um, I think, I believe that uh, the, one of the reasons why uh, I think there's an underrepresentation, not a lot of women, not a lot of, of black uh, uh, um, doctors in uh, interventional cardiology or even in cardiology, I think that there's already there, there's not a lot of doctors from that background. So growing up and- A lack know, of mentorship, lack of mentorship, exactly, you think? Exactly. Right. So I think that not seeing yourself in yeah. that kind of, 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 um, of practice, you know, um, can also act on the choices that you're gonna do, you're gonna make. Um, so I had, I was very lucky to have a lot of mentors, not necessarily from a, 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 a black mentors. I had a few, but you know, I was lucky that um, I had mentors who pushed me and who were there for me. Definitely of where I was from. Montreal is a very diverse city, so that helped a lot. However, um, I have to say that it was difficult at time. Um, you asked how it was. I, it was difficult at time not to have someone who looked like me um, and who was going through the same thing because cardiology, residency is a journey full of difficulties. And I had this um, added difficulty that was the color of my skin, um, all the microaggression and all of that. I didn't necessarily always have someone um, to kind of share that kind of experience that I, ha that I was having. Mm -hmm. um, so, so uh, definitely lack of mentorship, that is something that I, that I think. So, so you're hoping, hopefully with you now in this position as an international cardiologist, you'll give back. You will bring more black women and hopefully we'll work hard to actually uh, attract more women uh, underrepresented minorities to interventional cardiology. We need you. <laughs> I think you have, the future is so bright with someone like you and, yeah. um, you know, sort of leading the way. Uh, you're just starting your practice. I see great, great, great future. And I just can't wait to see what you're going to do. And especially um, given that your area of research is incredibly interesting your uh, commitment is very real, is very palpable. So I invite you to uh, apply to the Escalator Award at Women as One. We would love to have and be able to help escalate you to the level you, where you belong, actually, and that you should feel uh, uh, very, very much wanted and, and understand that your incredible zeal for doing the right thing for women, whether it's your colleagues as well as your patients, is really highly commended and you're amazing. So I congratulate you and I'm, it's just been such a thrill. We're gonna read about you everywhere. So um, uh, let's connect, let's make sure we write some papers together and uh, congratulations and oh Canada, oh Canada, they always have the best and so here you are. You know you can always come to the U.S., but maybe I'll come to you, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> depending on the elections. Anyway, thank you so much. It's been a fantastic conversation. Yes. Congratulations on everything you're doing. Thank you so much. <laughs>